Okay guys, welcome back again. As you can tell from the title, like I said, today is the day that I go and buy the new wheels for the Tacoma. But first, I need to run to the bank, take care of some bills. Uh, before that, I need to run into town and help my friend who's working on his condo. And I think that's all I have to do for today. So let's get on that. I'm still trying to decide what I should take, either the Ferrari or the Lamborghini. So. I might take the SVJ out today or the GTR. We'll see. All right, guys, let's get on it. Wait, you guys really didn't think I had a Ferrari, did you? Or a Lamborghini? Anyway, before we um, go out today, I noticed something that all the Tacomas, not all, but a lot of Tacomas have been plagued with uh, from the 2016 to 2018, it looks like. And here, where did it go? It's down in here. And what I noticed was the power steering pump. Um, and this is kind of, like I said, notorious for the early model Tacomas. The power steering pump leaks. Very, very small, maybe one drop per week. And I also did notice um, some oil underneath it, uh, underneath the truck. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Ah, I don't know, I don't know if you guys can see it, but anyway. There's some oil that was dripping that I saw from underneath. Can you get inside there? Nope. Anyway, um, it was leaking oil. I did also confirm with a couple of my other friends, they had the same issue where uh, they would have to fill oil, just a little bit of oil back into the reservoir, maybe once, or t once every two months or so. So before this potentially becomes a big problem, um, it's out of the service warranty, whatever. And I don't think that there's a um, recall or technical service bulletin, a TSB. I don't think there's that on this. So I'm gonna have to change it myself. Um, I could go with aftermarket, I don't know. I'm gonna check how much the OEM one is. It's probably, I would estimate around $200, uh, knowing the factory Toyota stuff. But that's in the new <coughs> near future. Um, We'll see what happens with that. But until then, uh, I need to go into, go into town, do some banking, fix um, my friend's apartment units, and then we'll get the new wheels today. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so before I decide to get the wheels for today, I had to think of a couple different things. Um, for me, I had to stop and really think, what am I gonna use the wheels for? Or the tires or whatever, the whole package, right? I'm not into the car show street scene, so I'm not gonna go with 24s. Um, definitely not gonna go with 22s or 20s. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Um, I need to have the, the truck really functional. I need it to work. Um, <clears throat> I need the wheels to be strong enough to tow. I need it strong enough to be able to handle um, whatever minor little off-road things we have here. So, if I really wanted to do a real off-road build, I probably would go with 15 inch or 16, but they don't have to space it out. And putting wheel spacers on your wheels are kind of a bad idea. There's a whole scientific uh, theory behind it. And this one guy is super, super smart. I'll try to put a link in the description below and he'll go through everything. This guy is a genius. I think that's what he's called genius or something like that anyway. I'm probably gonna stick with 17s. I'm not gonna go wide. I already had um, 14 wide. I had, I currently have 12 wide. So probably gonna stick with something in the 8.5 to 9, 9, 9 inch range. And yeah, so just contemplating as far as what I really wanna use it for. Um, the main thing is that you guys, you do you, I do me, right? We need to be happy with whatever we get. and. That's the only thing that matters because you're the one that's going to look at it and you're the one that's going to live with it. So with all those in mind, let's go and get the wheels. All right, I'm done with the apartment. Now it's time to go and get those wheels. But first I have to get to the bank. I have to repair this whole thing here. That whole thing was water damaged. So I have to rip all the drywall off, ripped off the frame. Put a new frame, put a new drywall, mud it up. Now I have to let it dry and then I'll come back next week on and repair that. But more importantly, let's get the wheels. All right, here we are. 
at MJ Motorsports. Okay, so let's go and grab the wheels. let's pick it up okay so unfortunately <laughs> when I called three days ago they had the wheels in stock um, came here now with the cash in hand but unfortunately they sold the wheels so I ended up just paying for them uh, in about two to three weeks it'll come in and then we can get going on that so sorry uh, <laughs> we have to wait a little, little while longer to show you guys what wheels I decided to go with all right, so stay tuned and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're back home. Um, like the title said, new wheels or not, I guess not. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to wait uh, three weeks and it's starting to rain right now. Um, you might be able to see some water on the lens. It's, wow, this is actually a miracle that it's actually raining since it almost never rains here. Um, maybe I can try to wipe that for you guys. I don't know it's gonna get worse I'm I have to get out of this rain but anyway I was debating whether or not I should post this video um, since the wheels will not come in for another three weeks or I could wait three weeks and then post the video I might as well do something now so stay tuned um, I need to get on the forerunner still yet I still need to do my other friends uh, suspension when his suspension comes in I think he went with the Eibach, uh three inch lift for his Tacoma, we'll see. Jamie may do some alterations to his. I'm not too sure yet. Oh, and Candice, if you're seeing this video, hello. <laughs> anyway, thanks for sticking around, guys. Um, I'll get on the rest of these videos in a little bit. For now, I need to get out of this rain. All right, thank you everyone for sticking around and checking out the videos. Uh, we're done for now, and I'll let you guys check out the sunflower patch that I'm in. Until next time, I'll see you guys again. Take care, everyone.